everyone welcome back to my channel and let's begin with the video on how to dual form on a nail form method first off begin by washing the hands and drying them thoroughly then start the prepping process of the nails carefully beginning with the small finger begin trimming the nails from the sides never from the middle section of the tip of the nails With the stainless steel nail file, file each nail evenly. In a careful circular motion, I'm pushing back the cuticles with the stainless steel cuticle pusher. Now going to trim off the lifted cuticles with the cuticle nipper with patience. We do not want any cuts by the cuticle area. Brushing off the excess cuticles. In a up and downward motion, buff the nails with the nail buffing block to smooth out any rough surfaces from each sides of the nails, then buff horizontally to complete the buffing process. Brushing off any natural nail residue again from the buffing. Applying Mia Secret Natural Nail Prep Dehydrate Dehydrator, which is to practically dry out the nails. Then, to remove any natural nail oils from the nail surface, I will be using Mia Secret's No Burn Acid Free Primer Extra Bond. Make sure that the primer does not touch the cuticles. I will be sculpting a thin layer as the tip for the nail by using Mia Secret's multi stilo nail forms. As you can see, the middle circular sticker is removed completely from the nail form and the form will be fitted accordingly onto the nail around the finger as you see here. The end tips of the nail form is placed together and placed the form evenly by the end of the natural nail and tightly squeeze the form nice and snug. Now. Mia Secret Professional Nail System Orderless Liquid Monomer will be used followed along with Mia Secret's Professional Nail System Clear Acrylic Powder. Two glass dappen dishes are placed alongside the acrylic powder for the acrylic application process. With a number 24 sized acrylic brush, I will dip it within the monomer placed on the left, then swipe the brush around three or four times for volume control. Then patted the brush once or twice over the paper towel and then pick up a certain amount of the polymer to create a bead. Now placing the acrylic material enhancement over the tip of the nail to manipulate and form a thin layer to create a tip extension. Remember that this process must be done quickly. We now have a full set of tips. Carefully remove all nail forms. Each nail tip should now have a smooth back surface. These are my custom sized dual nail forms that I also had to file by the cuticle area for better customization. These dual forms are also marked with grids to calculate the nail length. 
Beginning with the small finger, try to visualize how much of a gap there is between the tip and the dual form to figure how much acrylic material will be placed onto the dual form. Quickly place the acrylic material onto the dual form tip and decide until where to start from the tip and the middle center. Also apply a thin layer of the acrylic to the sides of the dual form for a even consistency. Now place the dual form firmly onto the natural nail and make sure there are no air bubbles. Turn the tip upside down and with the wooden stick clean up the excess acrylic material quickly before the acrylic forms. After one minute, lift the dual form. There is now a smooth front and back surface of the acrylic nail. Filing the sides of each of the nails with the stainless steel nail file. Now brushing the nails, with the electric nail file, I will file out some of the extra rough edges just a bit of the nails and cuticle areas as well for the front surface. Again brushing off the dust, let's buff the nails even more with OPI's 220 by 280 foam buffer. Brushing for the millionth time. This is how the finished product should look on my index finger from my left hand that was done with a nail form. And this is how it will look on my index finger from my right hand, but without any nail form tip done, which you can see is not so smooth from the back of the nail. After washing and fully drying my nails, I finished up my nails with a clear top coat for a shiny glass-like look from front to back. Alright, this is the finished product on how to do a form on a nail form. Hope you learned and liked this method. And if you did, please leave a like and subscribe, would truly appreciate it. And don't forget to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Google+, which is featured on the video description section. Y'all take care now. 